the church and stare at the Bible and shit. Shorty say I'm the worst, cause I do my dirt, and now I'm be hiding this shit. Bitch, I'm a savage, I spit at you bastards, I wonder what you gonna do to me, oh? I need to hear some more rapping, I'm just not impressed by your cash and your jewelry, oh? All you my soldiers, and I'm a lieutenant, god damn it, you should be saluting me, oh? I hope you know I ain't going nowhere, are you rapping just... What's good, YouTube? It's Clutch. We're back here with another video. Today's video, we got the top five clans in NBA 2K19. All right, just to start this video off, a little disclaimer. This is my opinion. So if you did not agree, this is my opinion. So we're obviously not going to have the same opinion. So with that out the way, let's start off this video at number five. Maybach music. All right, so coming in at number five, we got TG led by G Herbo and AI Goat. You guys know G Herbo, he has 120,000 subscribers on YouTube. Even though recently he hasn't really been grinding on YouTube. You guys remember 2K17 days, he blew up. He went from zero to 100,000 subscribers in less than a year. Now, even though my man hasn't really done anything this year, he's been having really like stuff going on in his life. And you guys know, just from 2K17, when he grinds, he takes off, so that's why I can see TG moving up higher up on the list, 2K20, if Herbo grinds like he says he is. But that's number five. Let's get on to the number four spot. Maybach music. Coming in at number four, we got Eyeball led by Toxic. I'm not sure if there's any co-leaders or captains, but we got Eyeball at number four. Now, I know there's going to be some people that don't agree with me putting Eyeball at number four, but like I said in the beginning of the video, this is just my opinion. Now, Eyeball has been a clan for two years. I remember them in 2K17, Eyeball Fusion, now Profusion TMB. I remember Eyeball Gory. I remember those guys, but Eyeball has been a good clan since 2K17. They're mostly into Pro-Am and stuff. They're like the 2K League. They play a lot of comp stage, stuff like that. They're not really into the park scene as some of these other clans, but... They're very elite players. They know how to play this game really good. They're in the 2K League. What can you say? 2K League is not an easy thing to get into. You got to be very mature. And that's another thing. Eyeball, they're a very professional organization. I'll give them that. Toxic is a great leader. That's why Eyeball comes in at number four. Maybach music. Coming in at number three, we got XINO led by Bandit and co-led by Stumpy. Now this clan is fairly new. It was made back in like December of 2018. So it's a fairly new clan. I remember back in 2K17 days, Bandit used to have this clan. It wasn't as successful as it is now, but just to throw that out there. So it's been a clan for a minute. But you guys know Bandit, he went from DF, he went to like TNB, but then he decided to make his own clan. So when Bandit made this clan, he had like probably like 30k subscribers and he's went crazy man he has like 70k subs same with stumpy they both went crazy bandit is a great leader he's one of the best iso players i'd say he's probably the best iso player on xbox he is point forward as a guy that man that man's different bro stumpy probably one of the best lockdowns on xbox they're really good they have a bunch of good members and i could see bandit and stumpy and some members in the clan go doing more crazy things on youtube going crazy so that's why I would give XINO the third spot on this clan list. Maybach music. Coming in at number two, we got TMB led by Nadex. Captains of Profusion TMB and Hall of Fame TMB. Now I know a lot of people are probably gonna be saying, why is it TMB number one? Now don't worry, I'm definitely gonna cover that, but why is TMB number two? TMB man. You guys know Nadex, one of the biggest grinders on Xbox, just any system. He's always grinds every single year. He's a very entertaining streamer. It's a great clan to grow in. You guys know me. I was in TMB, so I could say firsthand how the experience was. TMB is a good clan to grow in, especially with Nade. You have a grind partner. There's a lot of people doing crazy things. Hall of Fame is one of them. He's going absolutely nuts right now. And you know Nadex, he's been through a lot of shit this year, bro. His YouTube got terminated for bullshit, and he had like 540,000 subscribers. Man, that's a really big load to take. Whether you like Nate or not, you gotta give him his props, bro. He lost his YouTube channel, then he went to Mixer. He grinded on there, they didn't want to accept him, but he got on DLive, and he did his thing. He got global partnership, was the highest partnership on DLive. You gotta respect that, bro. Even though he got banned, he didn't let that interfere with his grind. But now, why is it TMB number one? I'd say the reason why TMB isn't number one is because of this. I feel like 
they could probably do better when recruiting certain people because I don't know, like sometimes like they be like picking people up, but something like they be kicking people a lot. A lot of people be leaving. I'm not really sure why, but you don't see that in other clans. You don't see people constantly leaving, constantly getting kicked. I would say that I don't know honestly, bro, but. That's pretty much why they aren't number one, in my opinion, but you guys know they're a great clan, still. Maybach music. Coming in at number one, we got DF, led by Power DF, co-led by Grinding DF, and Easy Breezy. What can I say, man? Grinding DF took off this year. He went from 20K subscribers in the beginning of the year to almost 300K. That man really took off. He's a very entertaining YouTuber. Keep doing your thing, my guy. Power, you guys know him. He's been in the community since the Renaissance, since like 2K15. I don't know about 15, but 16 for sure. He was there. You guys know him. He's a great leader. Easy breezy. I don't really have too much to say about him. I don't I haven't really seen him do anything this year. But Power, I would say he's a really good leader. The only reason. Here's the reason why I'm putting DF over TMB in this list. I feel like the way Power recruits people to his clan is good because it's really rare when you see somebody get kicked from DF or even leaving. TMB, it happens pretty often, I'm not gonna lie to you. Every month there's at least like one or two people that leaves TMB or gets kicked. I don't know, I don't know what's up about that, but you guys seen like not too long ago, Nate went on a kicking spree, kicked Domo, your Red Craw, etc. You never see that in DF, that's what I'm saying. Just for that reason alone, that's why I put DF over TMB. Just the way Power recruits people and handles the clan. But I'm gonna say this again, this was all my opinion, so if you don't agree with it, you don't have to, bro. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But this is the end of the video, guys. This is my very first top five video, so if it's not the best, let me know in the comments. You know what I'm saying? I wanna try something new out. If you guys did like it, let me know. Let me know exactly what you guys thought about it. And for all the clans on this list, there definitely is room for improvement next year. Let's just see what 2K20 has in store for us. But thank you guys so much for watching this video, man. If you guys liked it, drop that like, hit that subscribe button, and I'm out.